Step one, again, treat this like a brand new problem. Don't get into the mode of memorizing. Let's first make sure that we're looking for a missing number. And it says, it. yeah, it does. What is the missing number? And we see that that missing number is in the list. Okay, so typically they're gonna have to give you some information about the missing number or again, the list that it's in. And again, they do that. It says the following set of eight numbers has an average of 13. What is the missing number? Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So the following set of eight numbers is an average of 13. What's the missing number? We have a missing number right there, that's B. Sweet. So can everybody go ahead and remind me the formula one more time? What's the formula again? And I got you, Jared. That's it. It's going to take work. It's going to take work. But go ahead, everybody. Give me that formula right there in the chat box. What are we saying in our heads when we say, oh, there's mean involved, find the missing number, or find the mean? What's going to pop up in your head? Total divided by the number of numbers equals mean. The mean equals the total divided by the number of numbers. Yes, yes, yes. The sum divided by the total. No well, be careful there, because total might be mistaken for adding them all up again. Yeah, I, I, to be safe, I would just keep it to total divided by number of numbers um, equals the mean or something that closely or literally says that. But yeah, so there we are. Okay, cool. Total divided by the number of numbers. equals our mean and let's go ahead and see what we're gonna write down everybody we we can find the total if we had the missing number so we'll leave that as is for now let's pause really quick because my question is regardless of whether you think this question is easy or hard are you prepared to answer more like this do you understand everything that you need to know leading up to this like fractions decimals all of these questions that I'm asking you are legitimate questions that every successful ASVAB test taker needs to ask themselves. And so tracking your progress, guaranteeing that you know you're ready, that's the number one way to prepare. And that's why we designed our progress dashboards for the math basics, arithmetic reasoning, and math knowledge. No more do you have to guess and hope for the best in terms of, hey, I practiced for two days straight, I hope I'm ready. You know, that happens way too often and then people move on only to find out that they weren't ready and then time was wasted. So don't waste time. When you have a plan and a progress book like this that's lined up for you from beginning to end, you are absolutely 100% guaranteed to grow. So if you're happy about that or excited, go ahead, click the link in the description of this video or text me at 567-698-8867. Text me asking me about how the program works. I'm more than happy to take time out of my day to make sure that you're successful. So don't waste time. Let's make sure you get the score you want and that job you deserve. Hit me up, click the link in the description, and let's get you in there. The number of numbers, how many numbers do we have? We have eight. So we'll just say, hey, our total divided by eight, because again, we have eight numbers. That's supposed to give us what? When we divide our total by eight, when we run through the formula, we're allegedly supposed to get 13. Exactly. Allegedly, we're supposed to get 13. So next step. What are we going to do next, everybody? What is my next step? Be specific. If, you've, if you're in my program, I expect you to say this the right way. Olivia, thank you. Almost an aneurysm. Yeah, multiply both sides by 8. I do not want you to say multiply 13 by 8 because that means that you are forgetting the principles of solving equations the right way. And I don't want you to forget. I don't want you to forget. So here we go. Let's go ahead, pick up the speed here. Let's multiply both sides by eight. Again, the reason we're doing this is to get rid of everything around the total. I just wanna get that total by itself because my total includes that missing number. I'm trying to reveal it right there. So we have 13 times eight. I mean, if I've been practicing my times tables, I stopped at 12. Dang, somebody help me out. How do we do 13 times eight? What is that gonna be? 104? Yeah, and if you wanna do it quickly in your head, instead of actually writing it down, you can think of it like this. Everyone, what's eight times 12? What's eight times 12? You know, we know eight times 12, what's that gonna be? Yeah, eight times 12 is 96. 
So if we wanted to do 8 times 13, that's just one more 8. Everybody, what's 96 plus 8? Take 96, add 8 to it, boom, 104. That's 13 times 8. And again, that just takes a simple understanding of what multiplication actually is. 18 or 8 groups of 12, then 8 groups of 13. Just adding one more 8. That's all it is. So there it is. Total is supposed to equal, again, 104. Now, what do we do with this information, everybody? Now that we know the total equals 104, what do we do? What are we supposed to do? Olivia says, add up all of the numbers at the top. Okay, what are we supposed to do after that? Gotcha. Then subtract it from 104. That will reveal the missing number. Does everybody agree with Olivia? That wasn't me say, That wasn't me speaking. That was Olivia. Olivia says, add up all of the numbers up top and then subtract whatever we have from 104. That'll give us the missing number. Cool. Sounds good. So let's show what Olivia is saying. What Olivia is saying is this. We'll take the 18 plus the 20 plus the 9 plus the 7, 5, 12, and 17. We add all of that up along with B. And that's going to give us again the 104. So let's go ahead and do our job here. My suggestion, like I said before, as you continue practicing mental math, you'll find the right way to go about it. That's the quickest for you. So what I would do here is I would go ahead and work with those place values. Do the tens place first, then come back and go ahead and do the ones. So watch this. I got 10 plus 20 is 30, 40, 50. So I got 50 with the tens places. Then I'll go ahead and work on the ones place. 8, 17, 24, 29, 31, 38. So right there, we have 50 plus 38. What is that total so far going to be, everybody? 50 plus 38, that's going to be 88. Yeah, that is a lot of numbers. And that's why it's going to be so, so worth it when we practice to the point where adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing isn't a big deal. Like That's the last thing that I want. The last thing you should ever want on the ASVAB is to be tripped up on calculation because you've had all the time from kindergarten until now to practice that. The word problems, yeah, we probably need a lot of help on that and I'm here for you. But the calculation, we have got to practice, practice, practice. We have all day, every day to do that. So here, that'll be 88 that we have so far. Now, what was the last step again? What did Olivia say? What do we need to do here? Hey, 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 really quick before we continue, if you're watching this, you've likely already been to one of my classes and if you haven't been to one of my classes, remember to check that schedule. The link is right up there and in the description of this video. That way you can understand when my free classes are and my access program classes are. That way you can keep raising your score, knowing what topics we're doing and get the job you want. So again, click there or in the description to see when the classes are and join one for free. I'll see you there, my party people. Let's get back to the action. Last thing we're gonna do, subtract. Right, subtract both sides by 88. Boom. Again, Olivia is the one teaching, not me. So here we go. Subtract 88, and we're set. Now, one way that I like to handle numbers that are close to the hundreds or like the next zero, I can kind of just say, look, this is subtracting. That means take the difference. If I want to go 88 up to 104, well, if I go up 12, that's 100. Up 4, that's 104, so that'll be 16. Or if you wanted to go the classic way, you could always go ahead and say, hey, let me just borrow one. So then you have 14 minus eight, that's six. Nine minus eight is one. Still get 16. Either way is fine. Whichever way you want to look at it, totally fine with me. But nonetheless, the answer, the missing number is going to be B equals 16. Booyah. And so right there, 16. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there. And you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, 
there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe, and raise your score.